Hey guys, I'm gonna go over this new uh, protein powder I just got. Essential 10 plant based meal replacement. So, technically, it's a meal replacement, but it's got a decent amount of protein 22 grams for uh, two scoops. I got this for about like $13, and it has 10 servings of two scoops for 22 grams of protein. So, similar price to uh, normal whey protein. Maybe a, it's a little bit more expensive if you're just getting. Uh, the general Wally World stuff, or, uh, you know, Giant, any, any of those, you know, it's a little bit more expensive. But, what I like about this is that it has the equivalent antioxidant value of 10 servings of organic fruits and vegetables. Sometimes I have a problem getting in my fruits and vegetables, and honestly, one of these days, you know, I'm trying to get to uh, an all-natural diet. I don't want to really use too much of this stuff, uh, like protein powders in general but I've been working out a decent amount for the past few months because I'm just I've just kind of been lazy the past few years and fallen out of shape I used to be in pretty good shape and now I'm not so I'm trying to get back into it and uh, I was sitting there I was working out for I've been working out a little bit for the past few months but I feel like I was just spinning my wheels and I, I think it's because I have not been getting enough protein and I have not been consuming enough calories I wasn't really losing weight, so I might have been okay with my calorie expenditure, but I think it might have been it might have been the protein or something else. I I, I feel like this was gonna help, and I already feel better sometimes when I take this, like especially in the mornings. Uh, one of the big things I like to do with protein powders is uh, put it in like coffee or something like that if I'm having coffee. But you know, a lot of times I'll have it by myself too. And I can feel the energy instantly when I drink it in the morning. But I'm going to go over some of these ingredients. Because I think, you know, the ingredients are like the most important part. Now, they say that there's a whole bunch of stuff. No no soy, dairy, or eggs. Um, now, dairy doesn't really bother me for whey. I actually kind of like whey protein. I think it tastes good and stuff. Uh, I want to try isolate here soon. Uh, I know you really use isolate, but I kind of want to try it. Uh, there is egg protein before egg protein too which is pretty good but they have polyphenols and that actually helps boost testosterone um, and the amount of vitamins they have is a lot and they also have prebiotic fiber and probiotics and this actually helps you digest the protein better as well uh, one of the benefits of using this plant-based protein over say whey protein is that you're it it's easily it's easily digestible compared to whey whey kind of can make you bloated or gassy depending on you know your body chemistry for me I this does actually feel a little bit cleaner than normal whey protein and it has a uh, three grams of healthy fats yeah well I was trying to get the zoom in but it's kind of being a pain in the butt let's see if it goes over here I'm surprised it doesn't have more potassium and I would like to see I wish it had more potassium in it like if they added like like some banana extract or something like that uh, you know, some natural form of potassium would be really good. But they do have zinc. Zinc's really good for testosterone. Magnesium actually is super helpful for lowering your blood pressure. So is protein powder in general. And, like, all these other vitamins are very important. Uh, you know, calcium, vitamin C, iron. Uh, niacin helps a little bit. Chromium's good. You know, a lot of, lot of good good ones. But I'm gonna get, now I'm going to actually go over, them, <laughs> go over these. Now, uh, pea protein is pretty good it actually has a lot of very good vasodilation uh, amino acids in it it's not a complete protein though and that's why they've added the organic sprouted brown rice protein and I'm pretty sure with those two together I think it's has the complete amino acid proteins I think it has all of them I'm not a hundred percent but I'm pretty sure it does uh, I know they I know if you have pea protein with um, like bean protein normally is. I'm pretty sure this, I'm pretty sure it's a complete protein at this point though. Uh, I might try hemp eventually, a uh, new hemp one. But I like these the some of these extracts like organic coffee berry. Uh, coffee has a lot a lot of antioxidants. Organic blueberries have a lot a lot of antioxidants and they uh, help with vasodilation, vasodilation a little bit. But one thing I noticed though is they say is they have the coffee fruit extract, but there's there's nothing on here about caffeine. So I, I don't know if there is anything caffeine in here. And then they have organic strawberry extract. 
Uh, that's just antioxidant activity. I can't think of anything else besides the antioxidant for that one. Uh, organic tart cherry extract actually helps you with recovery as well. Uh, cherry juice is really good to have on hand if you're working out a lot. It, it helps with uh, uh, delayed muscle onset. I'm not, saying, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. DMOS or something like that. It's been a while since I've read about it, but it, it does help. It, it helps that. It helps uh, helps with fatigue. Organic cranberry extract, you know, that's good for your urinary tract. Uh, organic mango extract. I think that's just anti... There's probably something else with it. Organic alkalized cocoa has a lot of antioxidants and boosts testosterone. Um, broccoli extract, same thing. Uh, it helps boost testosterone. Um, also, well, one of the good things about broccoli... I don't, I'm not sure if this would come into effect, but there's a chemical in broccoli... Uh, it's related to the niacin chemical. It's niacinamide. I'm pretty sure. Uh, it's something close to niacinamide. It might. I don't think it's niacinamide, but it's it's a close relative of niacinamide. And essentially, it's kind of like niacin. It doesn't have the flushing activity though, and it's actually being used now as a an anti aging component. Uh, they've actually seen in like certain mouse studies like 40% increases. Um, organic spinach extract. Spinach is a huge testosterone booster because uh, it has phytoster uh, phytosteroids in it. And the phytosteroids, like if you ate like um like two pounds, I think it's two pounds of spinach, you're you're you'd see like a twenty percent increase in gains just because of the uh just because of the testo the, te uh, the androgenic effects. There we go. <laughs> the androgenic effects of it. Uh, beet extract, super good. I I know I skipped kale. Kale, I can't think of anything besides vitamin K, and that's really about it right now. Vitamin K and antioxidants. I'm sure there's a lot of stuff with kale. Only bad thing about kale is they're using a lot of uh, a lot of um stuff to kill insects. Insects, 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 insecticides. There we go. Uh, and then they have organic beet extract. That's really good for blood pressure. Um, the rest of it, I think, you know, it's pretty much... Real vanilla beans helps a little bit. Uh, but most of that's just for a binding agent. Binding agent. Sweetener. Sweetener. Actually, there are positive effects of vanilla beans, but I can't think of them right now. I, mean, I guess these are all just added vitamins. I don't, I don't really know a lot of these. I know zinc, uh, niacinamide. I was just talking about that earlier. Uh, I guess that's maybe where they're getting their niacin from. But niacinamide and niacin are two different things. So I, I don't know a hundred percent. So I don't see any additional niacin. Um, ascorbic acid is vitamin C, but. Exorbic acid is pretty much garbage because it's not a full vitamin C. So you pretty much just be like, boom, vitamin C. Who cares about that vitamin C? But it, from all the other vegetables and stuff. Now, see, the one thing I do worry about, about this protein powder, I actually really like it. I'm about to mix mix a little bit up just to show you how well it mixes. Um, the one thing I don't, or the one thing I worry about, because I can't really, you know, I don't really know, is how much of the, is, oh, sorry, I had to burp. <laughs> how much of the insecticides like you know go into this like i mean how well are they they taken out and you know without a chromatography test you know i i wouldn't really know like i'd have to take this to a chromatography lab to really figure it out and i don't really have the money to do that but eventually you know maybe if i get a decent amount of hits on videos like these i'll do stuff like that that'd be kind of cool because i'm actually really interested uh you know, I, I, I'm big, I really believe that organic is the way to go, um, especially like, I'm not really too sure where this one is made, I think this was made in the U.S., and honestly, the U.S., like, I mean, I live in the U.S., but our, our FDA and stuff like that is highly, yeah, it's made in the U.S., uh, is highly corrupt and mostly just controlled by pharmaceutical companies and... Monsanto is a real, real piece of work.
and they really don't mind poisoning people that much. I mean, there's definitely countries that are worse, but like you know, Europe's way better when it comes to their food. Uh, they have way better laws in place. I love this. I love this. This right here, like um, the seal. I just think it's fancy looking. I just, I just kind of like it. I've already, I've already used a whole bunch of this. I'm gonna take this off. I just left this on here because I want to show you guys when I eventually I did the video. And of course, if you want to buy some of this stuff, I'm gonna have a link in the description. Of course. I know I haven't made a video in a while. Sorry, guys. Uh, I'm gonna try to make a whole bunch here in the next couple of days. But I've been kind of just taking a break off stuff. I've been working and, you know, hanging out with people. Eventually, I'd like to do this do this more, you know, as a job, like YouTube and making videos and stuff. But I'm just not making enough money doing it right now to really do it. I'm only going to do one scoop because I already did like a scoop before and I'm trying to save some of this because I already did a scoop earlier today and another scoop. So I'm not trying to use all of it at once. I would totally use two scoops right now too if I ha had more, but I don't. Now it is a little bit clumpy at top. So like you gotta like really, really mix this together. Now. I'm kind of feeling lazy and don't feel like uh, splitting this video and using it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to guess at where I'm looking at. But it gets really foamy. And you can see some of the clumps at the top. I'm sure if you put this in a blender, you know, it would probably blend up a lot better. But I'm not 100%. I, I'm pretty sure, like, you know, that, that foaming stuff is pretty good, though. Uh, that, that probably means, like, the antioxidants in it and stuff like that are kind of, like, breaking up and that's really going to help like nitric ice uh, nitric oxide production more than likely i'm not 100 percent on that but that's just kind of what i'm guessing i could be 100 percent wrong on that and it's kind of just a guess but I'm not too sure but uh yeah it's a it's pretty good like you know if it was disgusting i'd make a weird face but i mean it's, it, it really tastes like normal protein powder like it tastes similar to wheat it's not quite as strong though uh, it's a little bit different, but it, it, like I said before, like, I kind of feel like, um, less, like, I don't, I know, I never really had, like, huge bloating from, uh, protein shakes, I, that never was a problem with me, uh, I guess, like, you know, some people, like, they might want to, like, add some additional creatine or something like that, because this has, like, no creatine, I know a lot of protein powders come with creatine already added to it. Uh, but this does not have any creatine in it. Um, I used to get have my own creatine, just like random separately, but I kind of stopped using it over the years. Uh, next protein powder I get, I might look for one with it. I'm not. I don't really know what the next protein powder I'm going to get is yet, but I, I really enjoyed this one. Uh, you know, technically, I guess it's not supposed to be just a protein shake, and it's supposed to be, like I said, a meal replacement, but it's pretty much a protein powder but i mean it's, it's fairly good and you know i know some people just don't like protein powders like so this one's a little bit like more watery like if you don't like the thickness of we you might like this better too it's not quite as thick but you know some people like that that thick feel of it so it really all depends but no that's where it is But y'all take it easy, deuces. Y'all have a good night. If, like I said, if you want to get this, it's in the description. And, you know, try keep on trying to get gains. You know, I'm going to be there with you trying to do the same thing. Uh, if you got any protein powder you like, you know, tell me about it, you know. Or if you got any exercises you like to do. I like to hear about stuff like that. Uh, especially, like, you know, nutrition. I like nutrition, too. Nutrition's always interesting. So. Y'all take it easy.